The Robertson County High School Football Show is brought to you by Springfield Carpet One. Whether you are in need of new hardwood, luxury vinyl, tile, carpet, or laminate, Springfield Carpet One has everything you need for your next flooring project. Thomas Drugs. Since the early 1900s, Thomas Drugs has served the Robertson community for all their prescription needs. Stop by and see their friendly staff and grab you a sundae at their ice cream parlor today. Old Hickory Credit Union. Whether you need to open a checking account or are interested in taking out a loan or mortgage, Old Hickory Credit Union can help you every step of the way. Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment. Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment is the one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs. Select Physical Therapy in Springfield. Select Physical Therapy provides inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation services in Robertson County. And the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Remember, fans don't let fans drive drunk. Now, here are David Wilson and Brady McAtamney. Hello again, everybody, and welcome into the Robertson County Football Show. I am Robertson County sports reporter David Wilson, and it is not Brady McAtamney joining me this week to do the Robertson County Football Show, but it is my good buddy, Russell Vanozzi. Russell has so many titles with Main Street, I'm not going to try to even pronounce all of them or give deliver them, rather. But, Russell, how you doing? Doing well, David. Thanks for having me. All right, so this is the open part of our show. Normally, we let... Brady rant about how well his Detroit Lions are doing. I think that you're a Titans fan, so I'll allow you this moment to grieve before we get into today's show. Yeah, it's a good thing Brady is not here because he would probably be insufferable after that big win they pulled out over the Bears. But yeah, Titans. Uh, fortunately, we're not we're not talking Titans today, David, since uh, they are so broken and so such a lost cause this season. Not watchable, to be honest with you. Uh, having a hard time even. Uh, paying attention. I've got chores to do and stuff. So sometimes your Sundays are better served not watching the Titans. But fortunately, we get to talk about a very watchable high school football team that uh, is having a great season and is set up for their first state semifinal berth uh, this Friday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. East Robertson did it yet again. They got their revenge on Friday night as they picked up a 49-20 to win over Smith County in Friday's Class 2A quarterfinals. It was the Grove Show, Russell, as has been time and time again for East Robertson all year long. Isaiah Groves, who's a semifinalist for Class 2A, Mr. Football, ran for 338 yards on Friday night, four touchdowns in the win over Smith County. He had that on 22 touches. His brother, Elijah, had a 50-yard interception return for a touchdown, also had eight tackles and three tackles for loss. And their cousin, Zavion, who's a sophomore cornerback, had two interceptions, four tackles, and three pass breakups in the win. Russell, it's a family up there, affair up there in East Robertson for the Groves family. I know you spent some time in East Robertson. Just kind of talk about your memories up there and just your coverage of the Indians. Yeah, uh, like I go on to say in the interview, I mean, it, it's a great, great community up there. Um, clearly a lot of football town and, and, they, and they support that town too. Always good crowds at the games. And uh, this you're the stars of the line. And it is amazing how much production the Gross family over the years has uh, all the different uh, families that are part of the Gross family, how much they've helped East Robertson sports and really put that school on the map in a lot of ways. And in basketball and now in uh, football as well. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing if they can keep this going and, and possibly get to their first ever Blue Cross Bowl. would be quite a feat and uh, quite a moment for that community. Yeah, we'll take our first commercial break here real quickly on the Robertson County Football Show. Coming up, you will hear from East Robertson head coach Chase Brooks as we revisit their win over Smith County last Friday night and a little quick preview of Friday night's matchup with York Institute in Jamestown in the Class 2A semifinals. Coach Brooks coming up right after this. Whether you've set personal goals or are just making your health and well-being a priority, Select Physical Therapy is here for you. Select Physical Therapy is your trusted physical therapy partner for recovering from aches and pains, gaining strength, and preventing injury. There's no better time to make Select Physical Therapy's movement experts part of your healthcare team. To learn more about the benefits of physical therapy and get on the road to recovery and wellness, schedule an appointment today at selectphysicaltherapy.com. Experience the power of physical therapy today. If you're in the market for new equipment, come to Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment in Springfield. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor projects and needs. We have a large selection of Echo Power equipment and a full line of bad boy mowers and tractors. 
We also have a broad inventory of outdoor storage buildings and provide maintenance and small engine repair on most equipment. We also carry a large line of mower engines and parts for great financing options. Stop by Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment today. If you're in need of new flooring, look no further than Springfield Carpet One, Floor and Home. We have a showroom filled with a wide range of flooring options, including hardwood, luxury vinyl, carpet, laminate, and tile. Our expert team is here to provide advice and guidance to help you find the right flooring for your needs. With special financing available, you can buy now and pay over time. Stop by our showroom today or visit our website at carpet1springfield.com. At Old Hickory Credit Union, we're member-owned, not-for-profit, and eager to serve our Robertson County community. Since 1934, we have strived to provide our members with a safe, reliable place to take care of all their financial needs. From checking accounts to loans to mortgages, we're here to help. Credit unions have to constantly adapt to meet the needs of an ever-changing market. However, one constant will always remain, and that is the service we provide to our members. Stop by our Greenbrier branch today. Thomas Drugs, serving our community since the early 1900s. We're a full-service drugstore in Soda Fountain located in a building on Main Street that is on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a staff of pharmacists with over 70 years of experience and we are committed to offering the best care and service to our community. We're now offering healthcare testing and treatment with positive results, a one-stop shop. Stop by our pharmacy today or visit our website at thomasdrugs.net. We are joined by East Robertson head football coach Chase Brooks. The Indians are coming off a 49-20 to win over Smith County on Friday night in the Class 2A quarterfinals. Our East Robertson High School football segment is brought to you by Thomas Drugs and Cross Plains. Since the early 1900s, Thomas Drugs has served the Robertson community for all their prescription needs. Stop by and see their friendly staff and grab you a Sunday at their ice cream parlor today. Coach, take, thank you for taking the time to join us this afternoon. Thank you all for having me. Coach, let's just start from the beginning. You're in your second season now up there in Cross Plains at East Robertson, a 23-3 and record so far in your first 26 games. Just kind of talk about how you've built the culture there over the last two years and what it was like taking that job on the first day. You know, we walked into a great situation. Uh, you know, our first year here, just tremendous support. They had a great senior class that kind of, you know, got, us, got, us, got the ball rolling, uh, helped with, you know, changing the culture and, and turning from what they had into a winning culture and, Instead of just going to games and hoping they can win, you know, we try to give them confidence that every time they step on the field, they're supposed to win. And so we continue to build that with competitions and in the weight room, uh, in the off season, and everything we're doing. And it really bled into the field last season and we had a great year, went uh, 12 and 2, right? I think last year. No, uh, 11 and 2 last year. Uh, and then coming into this year, you know, the, the seniors really uh, are doing a great job of picking up where the last seniors left off of, you know, getting us ready to play each and every week. and. Um, you know, really feeling like at each and every game that we go into that they're supposed to win. You know, not only can they win, but they're supposed to win these games. And, you know, it's made all the difference in the world with the community, what a community we have here, people willing to do any and everything. We've had people step up to buy our charter buses this week. Uh, it was going on the road once again to, to York Institute. Uh, we have the greatest faculty in the state. Ms. Cook does just a tremendous job of, you know, keeping the discipline in the school. And, uh, you know, that just kind of trickles down to, you know, us on the football field and, uh, you know, we just really appreciate her and, and the school as well. Russell, go ahead. I know you're very familiar with Robertson County, former sports reporter up there. Meet Coach Brooks. Hey, Chase. Good to talk to you. Congrats on all the success so far. And I got to ask you, so, uh, of course, East Robertson has been to the playoffs several times recently, but until you had gotten there last year in 2022, uh, the program hadn't had a, a winning record since 2009. I know you were interested in this job several years ago when it came open, and, and then again in 2022 when it came open. Uh, where did you kind of see the potential uh, at there, and, and did you see maybe a run like this being possible this this soon into your tenure? You know, we're very fortunate for that to happen. Uh, you know, coming into this last time when, when I did accept the job, you know, we got to see some film, and uh, I have some people here in the community that kind of reached out to me, you know, like, hey, you know, we got this Groves family, we got this Prince family, and you know, we got a lot of other strong kids and, um, you know, good sized linemen, you know, you got to take a look, you know, check it out, check us out and continue to send me film. And, uh, you know, I was just blown away by what I saw for two, a football to have these, you know, type of athletes and, uh, size linemen, you know, it's a rare, rare combination, especially at two, a school. And so I saw it immediately fell in love, made some phone calls to some buddies, 
you know, would you, would you all guys be willing to come help? You know, let's turn this thing around, you know, type deal. Uh, and they just bought in. You know, I got guys from Pope John Paul, I got Coach Fight and Coach Lancaster from Pope. Uh, I got Coach Beasley from Gallatin. Uh, me and Coach Hayden Alexander, the offense coordinator, came from Beach. I uh, got offense line coach from Mount Juliet. And, uh, you know, Coach Wicks is here. Uh, he's been here. We got Coach Phillips, another guy that's from here, is coached at Shebeville in uh, Lake County. And so we just got a bunch of coaches from a lot of different areas that, you know, bring something to the table and, you know, know something about winning and, you know, tradition and things like that. And so, you know, just through all these, you know, coaches that we've had, you know, fortunately two A to have this many coaches, you know, we've really got this thing going. Coach, you mentioned the Groves family and just how much success that they've had in their tenure at East Robertson. They had they both had a day on Friday night at Smith County. Elijah with the 50-yard interception return for a touchdown, eight tackles, three tackles for loss. His younger brother, Isaiah, who is a Mr. Football semifinalist in 2A, 22 touches for 338 yards and four touchdowns. Just kind of talk about the seasons that they've had and what they've meant to the program this year on this long run that you guys are making. Here's no doubt, you know, uh, Isaiah did a great job last year rotating with our other running other running back, uh, Zechariah Prince. Uh, you know, Z was an amazing running back, and it was a one-two punch last year with him uh, and Z. And then this year, you know, Isaiah is just kind of taking the reins where Z left off. Uh, the kid's average over 200 yards a game. He's a hard-nosed kid that can stick it up in there when he needs to. He can bounce it when he needs to. We can throw him to him out of the backfield. We can line him up at receiver. Uh, you know, the kid's just special. You know, Isaiah, and he's only a junior, uh, you know, to me, you know, got to be the best player, uh, definitely in the state of 2A, if not one of the best players in the whole state. Uh, his brother, Elijah, you know, he's six foot five, 215 pounds, can play anywhere on the field. He can play quarterback, he can play receiver, he can play tight end. Defensively, he can play DN, he can play linebacker, he can play safety. Uh, just a kid that's very versatile, a uh, kid that can, you know, is long, uh, you know, can fast enough to play in coverage, strong enough to come down and defend the run. Uh, it's just rare to have those type kids, you know, uh, power five type kids at a 2A school. Uh, you know, we've just been very fortunate to be able to coach these kids and, and be around them as they continue to grow and get better each and every game. And then, of course, uh, there's the third brother, Zach, too, that's already garnered some some offers, too. It's just just amazing what you guys have there. Uh, what's the dynamic like, I guess, uh, with, with those three guys and the rest of the team? Um, how does everybody kind of mesh together? And, of course, the brothers already have, a, I'm sure, a good connection. But how, how how's what's that dyna- dynamic like with the rest of the team? You know, absolutely. You know, their uh, their family, you know, just breeds competition. You know, they're always trying to one-up each other and uh, trying to outdo each other. So that type of competition just, you know, bleeds to the rest of the team. And, you know, they get the rest of the team going when they kind of get competitive. You know, they Elijah wants to go against Isaiah on one-on-ones, and Zach wants to go against Elijah on one-on-ones on board drills and things like that. So that style of competition, that level of competition, just really helps bring up everybody else on the football team and, you know, get them excited and want to do the same thing. So, you know, no doubt having those style or type of athletes on your football team just really elevates and raises, you know, our level of play. It's been quite the last two weeks for you guys, Chase. You go on the road and take down previously undefeated Marion County, get the program's first road win in the playoffs since November 4th of 2004, and then you go on the road the next week and you get your revenge against Smith County and take down the Region 3 2A champs. Just kind of talk about this this road you guys have been on the last couple of weeks, it's kind of a murderer's row as you head into York Institute, uh, another undefeated school. Just kind of talk about the path and the run that you guys are on right now. You know, it takes a lot of maturity to go on the road, you know, especially in high school in the playoffs. Uh, you're talking about bus tra- tra- bus travels or trips that are two and a half, three hours or even longer. Uh, so you got to have maturity to, to do that, to handle those things. Uh, you know, and then once you get there to be able to turn it on, once you get off the bus on a long bus ride, uh, to get ready to play. So it's taking a lot of maturity, taking a lot of our seniors and juniors stepping up and make sure our guys have been focused, uh, you know, once we did get off the buses and, and make sure that we're prepared to play, you know, on Friday night. So difficult situation, another difficult situation this Friday night, going to York, another three-hour bus ride, uh, and there's no school. So, you know, we got to handle that this week. We were out of school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, and then Thursday being, you know, Thanksgiving, having the holiday. So, you know, it's going to take a special effort uh, out of our seniors and out of our upperclassmen to make sure that we're focused, uh, that we're all where we're supposed to be, when we're supposed to be there, and, uh, you know, make sure we're prepared and ready to go Friday night. Chase, you uh, you mentioned earlier in the interview about the charter buses, and I'm glad to hear you guys are riding in style for some of these long <laughs> trips. But, oh, yeah. I mean, what do, you, what do you guys do on these road trips to try to keep the team loose, try to keep it fun? Are, are you guys stopping anywhere for food? Or what's kind of the itinerary like when you guys go on a, a long road trip like that? 
you know, anytime you go over an hour, you want you want to be on those charter buses, uh, you know, just because the kids have you know more leg space, you know, the the seats are more comfortable and all those good things. So we like to break it up by every hour. Or so we'll stop. Uh, we're going to stop at Texas Roadhouse. That's what we did on our way to Marion County. You know, they do a phenomenal job of they let us sit down and eat before they even open the restaurant. So it's just our football team in there. Uh, we get a lot of you know good team bonding there. We have a disciple, you know, come in uh, discipleship. You know, head of a uh, team chaplain come in and give us a good word before uh, you know. We eat, and then uh, we'll stop once again at a park somewhere to kind of stretch our legs, get out, you know, refocus once again, uh, and then we'll get there and do our normal uh, Friday routine. Chase, kind of talk about what this York Institute team looks like on film and maybe some of the challenges they present for your football team on Friday night. You know, there's a very scary football team. You know, um, we face a lot of different style of offenses in 2A. You know, you'll see everything from the wing tee to single wing to spread to – uh, the Maryland out, you know, so it's all kinds of different styles of offense. And, you know, this team does a lot of styles of offense themselves. They'll get in the single wing, they get in the double wing, they'll get in spread. Uh, and so they're all over the place. So it's a nightmare to defend on, on our defense side of the ball. we got to make sure our guys are disciplined, uh, make sure we're reading our keys, not looking in the backfield. Uh, their defense, you know, they run to the football. You know, they're not the biggest team we've played. They're not, you know, Smith County, uh, but they're gritty. They're mean. You know, they're going to they're gonna hit you and they're going to run and, that, you know, their goal, it seems like every Friday night, is to make sure that you felt, you know, you, you felt them or, you know, you wake up Saturday morning sore uh, because of how physical they are. And they fly around, they do a great job. And, you know, that coach, Coach Rice, got them believing they can't lose. Uh, and they went to the semifinals last year, won against an amazing Tyner team. Uh, they ended up winning the state championship this year, the same thing, 13 0. You know, they've really not had, you know, maybe one close game all season. They've really dominated the competition. Uh, so we definitely got our hands cut out for us. For anybody that hasn't been to Cross Plains or hasn't been to an East Robertson game in a while, um, it's it's a pretty neat atmosphere. It, a tight knit community. That the ad read that we did for Thomas Drugs. I mean, that's one of the few places in town that actually serves food. So the concession stand at the stadium is is always a big deal. And I know you guys are on the road now, but what's <clears throat> excuse me? What's the fan support been like this season, especially during this playoff run? I mean, uh, are you guys getting big crowds and stuff like that? There's no doubt. You know, we we definitely uh, take a crowd everywhere that we go. Uh, you know, it's just, a, you know, credit to our community and credit to the families that are on this football team. Uh, you know, what a following. You know, it, I hate to see it. And it's sad that, you know, over the last two years, we've seen this a lot. Teams will come in here undefeated, 4-0, 5-0, and, and might have 50 pe people in the stands. And you're just like, you're just broken hearted for these these players who are playing this game, high school football, you know, for your community, for your school. And, you know, the fans don't follow. And so I'm very fortunate to be at a place where we definitely pack it out. We definitely travel well. Uh, you know, they're always on our side. You know, they got their uh, – I think one of the guys brings a train horn and uh, some air horns and some some uh, plastic bottles with rocks and got their noise makers and, you know, they're fired up, ready to go. You know, you see them on the fence. They're, you know, congratulating our kids and constantly picking our kids up, uh, you know, when they're scoring and things like that. And so what, what, a, what a great time to be here and uh, be a part of a great community that loves the sport and loves sports in general here uh, and supports our, our, our programs. Coach, last question for me. Thank you for taking the time again on this day. Just you guys are going to take the field on Friday in your first ever semifinal game. What would it mean for this program and you know this team in in particular to make it to a state championship game in Chattanooga? You know, it's just it's just one of those things that you know you, you dream about, you talk about, you set goals at the beginning of the season. You know, we had the potential to be here. You know, we told our guys all season long that if you know we just got to believe and continue to play hard. And you know, the Indians can't beat the Indians type stuff and. You know, it's all kind of came to fruition, you know, the last couple of weeks that, hey, you know, we are this good. And, you know, we can end up, you know, playing for a state championship next week uh, if we continue to take care of the ball and, you know, keep ourselves out of, uh, you know, committing too many penalties and things like that. And so just seeing these players, you know, starting to really believe and, you know, seeing the, the, the change, you know, that we're seeing in our guys, you know, the last couple of weeks of, of meeting all these challenges, of playing these undefeated teams, playing an unbelievable, unbelievably talented Smith County team and, you know, hard-nosed, well-coached team. You know, last week and, and coming out like the way we did, uh, you know, I'm just excited for Friday night and see, you know, if we can keep this thing going. That is East Robertson head coach Chase Brooks. He will lead his Indians on the field in the Class 2A semifinals on Friday night in Jamestown, 7 o'clock p.m. kickoff. Coach, thank you for taking the time today to talk to us. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Thanks, Chase. Have a good one. Whether you've set personal goals or just making your health and well-being a priority, Select Physical Therapy is here for you. 
Select Physical Therapy is your trusted physical therapy partner for recovering from aches and pains, gaining strength, and preventing injury. There's no better time to make Select Physical Therapy's movement experts part of your healthcare team. To learn more about the benefits of physical therapy and get on the road to recovery and wellness, schedule an appointment today at selectphysicaltherapy.com. Experience the power of physical therapy today. If you're in the market for new equipment, come to Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment in Springfield. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor projects and needs. We have a large selection of Echo Power equipment and a full line of bad boy mowers and tractors. We also have a broad inventory of outdoor storage buildings and provide maintenance and small engine repair on most equipment. We also carry a large line of mower engines and parts for great financing options. Stop by Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment today. If you're in need of new flooring, look no further than Springfield Carpet One, Floor and Home. We have a showroom filled with a wide range of flooring options, including hardwood, luxury vinyl, carpet, laminate and tile, our expert team is here to provide advice and guidance to help you find the right flooring for your needs. With special financing available, you can buy now and pay over time. Stop by our showroom today or visit our website at carpet1springfield.com. At Old Hickory Credit Union, we're member-owned, not-for-profit, and eager to serve our Robertson County community. Since 1934, we have strived to provide our members with a safe, reliable place to take care of all their financial needs. From checking accounts to loans to mortgages, we're here to help. Credit unions have to constantly adapt to meet the needs of an ever-changing market. However, one constant will always remain, and that is the service we provide to our members. Stop by our Greenbrier branch today. Thomas Drugs, serving our community since the early 1900s. We're a full-service drugstore and soda fountain located in a building on Main Street that is on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a staff of pharmacists with over 70 years of experience and we are committed to offering the best care and service to our community. We're now offering healthcare testing and treatment with positive results, a one-stop shop. Stop by our pharmacy today or visit our website at thomasdrugs.net. Welcome back to the Robertson County Football Show. I'm sports reporter David Wilson, joined by my good buddy, Russell Venozzi. Russell, we just heard from Coach Brooks as they look ahead to Friday's Class 2A semifinal on the road in Jamestown as they take on the York Institute Dragons, who are 13-0 on the year. Russell, let's dive into this matchup and pre preview what we foresee happening in the Class 2A semifinal matchup. That sound good? Yeah, hey, and before we go any further, I want to – is there any way we can get in, get in on that Texas Roadhouse uh, pit stop? That sounds uh, that sounds like a great way to to get ready for a game. Nice steak, some potatoes, some rolls. I wouldn't mind. Those guys are ready to roll. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I would not mind the steak at all. I, I would put it on Coach Brooks's tab, of course. Maybe some rolls. That sound good as well. But you know, they there's such a team um, bond there. You know, I've seen it time and time again. The community, as Coach Brooks mentioned, has really shown out for this group, and there's just been more and more support for this team the further that they've made it. And it's just as a school as a whole, you know, I was fortunate enough to make the trip down to Murfreesboro when the volleyball team made their first ever state tournament this week. And just to see the fan support continue to grow and support those young men and those young uh, women up there in Cross Plains, it's pretty remarkable. It's a special place. And I've enjoyed covering them so far. And I know you had fond memories up there as well, Russell. Yeah, there's nothing like covering a small town team that makes a run to the state finals. Got to do that with Springfield in 2019. And uh, yeah, just, just, it's a big deal. High school football is a big deal in Robertson County and uh, especially in cross plains. Now that they've got a winner for the first time in a long time, uh, it's really neat to see. Obviously they're going to have a stiff challenge this week as they take on York Institute. This is their second consecutive class two, a semifinal. They lost to Tyner last year, 33 to zero as Tyner was en route to the state championship. And so when you look at this matchup, Russell, I know you've been so busy with our mid-state coverage. What are some things that you're looking forward to seeing and maybe you think will happen in this week's matchup as East Robertson goes on the road to take on the Dragons? Yeah, just taking a little bit of a look at, at York Institute. Of course, neither of us has seen them play. That is right on the very, very cusp of our coverage area out there to the east, just barely in Middle Tennessee still. But having a great season, 13-0, uh, and 0, they are – they've – just been rolling right through the playoffs as well, blowing out teams. What really jumped off the page to me, David, is that they're averaging almost 37 points a game and only giving up seven and a half points. So 
Uh, I mean, they're beating teams by an average margin of about 30 points. And uh, of course, on the offensive side, they've got uh, a great uh, dual threat quarterback in Miles Lefew and a running back Ryland Miller. Those seniors have combined for uh, over 2,000 rushing yards, 30 touchdowns, um, entering last week's Class 2A quarterfinal win over Hampton. And Lefew has also thrown for over 600 yards and six scores. So you got, you got to at least respect the pass. They, they're definitely a run first team, uh, but they can throw it and uh, catch a nap in it. If, uh, if you're not careful. Yeah, Russell, I'm glad you mentioned that. That's the first thing that jumped out to me about this dragons team is they like to run the football and that's very similar to what East Robertson likes to do with Isaiah Groves. You know, Isaiah's had a phenomenal year. He's a semifinalist, the class two aid Mr. Football for a reason. He's had 224 carries on the year for 2,743 yards, 27 touchdowns on the ground. He also has 14 catches through the air for 269 yards and five touchdowns. So to add that all up, Russell, it, that's 3,012 yards and 32 touchdowns for the junior tailback from cross plans, a remarkable year. And so I, we know the formula for East Robertson is going to be simple. They're going to run the football. They're going to allow Kaysen Young, who's a freshman quarterback, to make those smart throws to just you know manage the game. And there's nothing wrong with being a game manager. He's done it to perfection so far this year and really helped boost this team. And he's gotten better as the year has come along, you know. And then on the defensive side of the football, I mentioned this last week that, you know, the defenses that East Robertson has gone against has been given so much praise um, statewide this year. You know, we raved about Marion County's defense ahead of this, uh, the second round matchup. We raved about Smith County's potent defense last week. But, you know, outside of one game in week six when Smith County beat East Robertson 14 to seven, very few defenses have been able to keep East Robertson off the scoreboard. They're so dynamic in what they do. They have a big offensive line that will maul you, that will get downhill. And they had the speed on the perimeter with um, Cade Brooks, Elijah Groves at the wide receiver position. And obviously you have Isaiah in the backfield. Pretty potent offense for offensive coordinator Hayden Alexander to scheme up against these opposing defenses, Russell. Yeah, I'll tell you what, David, from having covered such a wide variety of high school football over the last few years, of course, I got to see kind of the some of the uh, the lower classifications when I was in Robertson County and now uh, having covered Oakland, Christ Presbyterian Academy, some of these top teams. So, you know, I've seen some patterns emerge. You mentioned the game manager um, aspect of the quarterback. And I, and I don't think like in the NFL, that might be a derogatory term that, uh, you know, maybe an offensive term for to label a quarterback a game manager. But I think in high school, it's it's a compliment. It means that that quarterback is, in East Robertson's case, capable of operating the offense, capable of making the throws that need to be made, and trusting the defense to back him up, and trusting the run game, which I believe East Robertson's you know averaging right at 12 yards per carry. I mean, at that point, you really need your quarterback to just take care of the ball, manage the offense, and not turn the ball over. And you look at Oakland, that's exactly what they do every year. Great defense. Run game is great. This year, they've got Dewan Morris. Ashton Jones have combined for like 43 rushing touchdowns. Uh, CPA, same thing. They run the ball most of the time, have a solid quarterback, but then they really uh, hang their head on defense. And I think no matter what level, no matter what classification, public, private school you're talking about, if you can play defense, you can have a quarterback that doesn't turn the ball over and you can run the ball. That is a recipe for success. Those are teams that can win state championships. And East Robertson is made in that same mold. Yeah. I mean, East Robertson's defense is phenomenal. You know, it's, Every level of that defense, it starts up front. The, obviously, the defensive line, you have Zach Groves, Wyatt Pearson, those two physical guys that like to get after the quarterback and are really stuffers in the run alongside John Randolph on the defensive line. Then at the linebacking position, you have your leading tackler in Dallas Caffrey. You know, he's a senior. He was the leading tackler last year as a junior. And he's not the biggest guy, um, Russell, but he just finds a way to make plays. He has a knack for being around the football, and those are the players that you love, a gritty, tough player at the linebacker position that can call out the defense. And then in the back end, you got the Groves family once again with Elijah at strong safety and Xavion at cornerback. They're able to rotate in so many different bodies on the defensive side of the football, and that's a really potent unit. You know, they have felt disrespected time and atten- time again, rather. Uh, you know, they don't get enough praise. You know, a lot of the coverage, the fame goes to Isaiah Groves, and he's a phenomenal player. But this East Robertson defense is phenomenal as well. Well, David, on that note, should we make some picks? Is it that time? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I know you're my guest. I know we have not done this for Brady, but I'll let you do it since we just got one game 
on the slate. How do you see this one unfolding on Friday night in Jamestown? Look, I'm going to I'm gonna go East Robertson, 24-21. I think this is going to be a close game. York Institute, like I said, undefeated with an impressive win uh, over Friendship Christian as well. But despite all that, just for all the reasons we listed, I like East Robertson to go on the road. Uh, fueled by that Texas Roadhouse pregame meal, by the way. That seems to be the recipe for success. And I think uh, they might pull it out late here. Certainly a game that could come down to the fourth quarter. Yeah, I have to find my way in on that meal. That just sounds too tempting to turn down. I see this one as the same as you. I'm going to pick it 21-7. to East Robertson's go on the road in their first ever Class 2A semifinal. They're going to get the W, and they're going to punch their ticket to the Blue Cross Bowl. I just think there's too much defense for East Robertson in this matchup. And just looking at the stats that you broke down, Russell, you know, York Institute likes to run the football. They have a dual threat quarterback and a running back um, that they want to get the football to. I just think East Robertson has too much size, too much strength up front. They will stuff the run, force York Institute into the pass, kind of like what they did last week against Smith County, and they will force some takeaways in this one. And I think the offense is just going to do enough in this matchup. York Institute is a very good defense. I think they will give East Robertson some fits early on but I think the Indians will find a way into the end zone at least three times on Friday night and pick up yet another historic win in cross planes that will be told for ages to come. Just the path that this team is on. Russell, we talked about this off camera. Just the fact that they went on the road to beat Marion County, got their revenge against Smith County. I don't see them losing in the semifinals and not making it to Chattanooga. So I'm going to pick the Indians. I've not picked against them all year long and they have, Proved me right time and time again. So I'm rolling with East Robertson on Friday night. We will take our last commercial break here on the Robertson County Football Show. Coming up, I will deliver my Player of the Week award winner for the quarterfinal round in the Class 2A playoffs. Whether you've set personal goals or are just making your health and well-being a priority, Select Physical Therapy is here for you. Select Physical Therapy is your trusted physical therapy partner for recovering from aches and pains, gaining strength, and preventing injury. There's no better time to make Select Physical Therapy's movement experts part of your healthcare team. To learn more about the benefits of physical therapy and get on the road to recovery and wellness, schedule an appointment today at selectphysicaltherapy.com. Experience the power of physical therapy today. If you're in the market for new equipment, come to Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment in Springfield. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor projects and needs. We have a large selection of Echo Power Equipment and a full line of bad boy mowers and tractors. We also have a broad inventory of outdoor storage buildings and provide maintenance and small engine repair on most equipment. We also carry a large line of mower engines and parts for great financing options. Stop by Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment today. If you're in need of new flooring, look no further than Springfield Carpet One, Floor and Home. We have a showroom filled with a wide range of flooring options, including hardwood, luxury vinyl, carpet, laminate and tile, our expert team is here to provide advice and guidance to help you find the right flooring for your needs. With special financing available, you can buy now and pay over time. Stop by our showroom today or visit our website at carpet1springfield.com. At Old Hickory Credit Union, we're member-owned, not-for-profit, and eager to serve our Robertson County community. Since 1934, we have strived to provide our members with a safe, reliable place to take care of all their financial needs. From checking accounts to loans to mortgages, we're here to help. Credit unions have to constantly adapt to meet the needs of an ever-changing market. However, one constant will always remain, and that is the service we provide to our members. Stop by our Greenbrier branch today. Thomas Drugs, serving our community since the early 1900s. We're a full-service drugstore in Soda Fountain located in a building on Main Street that is on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a staff of pharmacists with over 70 years of experience and we are committed to offering the best care and service to our community. We're now offering healthcare testing and treatment with positive results, a one-stop shop. Stop by our pharmacy today or visit our website at thomasdrugs.net. Welcome back to the Robertson County Football Wrap-up show, I'm David Wilson, sports reporter for the Robertson County Connection, joined by Russell Venozzi. He's our main man at Main Street Preps. He does it all. Russell, thanks again for doing this with me today and conducting the interview with Coach Brooks, a fantastic interview. We'll make sure we bring you some Texas Roadhouse on the way back from Jamestown. But it's time for my Player of the, Work, 
Player of the Week, excuse me, award winner for the quarterfinal round in Class 2A. And it will go to two players from Robertson County. It will go to East Robertson running back Isaiah Groves, who rushed for over 200 yards in the win, total 338 yards total, four touchdowns in the win over Smith County. And he will share the award with his brother, um, Elijah, who had eight tackles, three tackles for loss, and a 50-yard interception return for a touchdown as East Robertson punched its ticket to the Class 2A semifinals where they will take on York Institute. That will do it for this edition of the Robertson County Football Show. For Russell Winozzi, I'm David Wilson. We'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. You've been watching the Robertson County High School Football Show with Robertson County Connection Sports Reporter David Wilson and Main Street Clarksville Sports Editor Brady McAtamney. Read this week's Robertson County Connection for all the latest news about Robertson County High School sports. The Robertson County High School Football Show has been brought to you by Springfield Carpet One, Thomas Drugs, Old Hickory Credit Union, Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment, Select Physical Therapy in Springfield, and the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Join us each week at this time on Main Street Media TV to get the latest on Robertson County football.